Tarzan and the Diamond of Asher. Since the death of Cecil Clayton, Tarzan has assumed the Greystoke estate's fortune and title. In the French-African port of Loango, Tarzan and Dono meet the father and sister of the missing archaeologist Brian Gregory, for whom Tarzan is later mistaken by Atan Tome and his companion, a mysterious woman known as Margaret. Tome tries to get possession of a map showing the location of Asher, a forbidden city, which he believes Tarzan has. The Gregories know the ape-man only as Lord Greystoke, and question him regarding Tarzan, who has been recommended to them by Lord Tennington as being the only man in Africa to help them. Withholding the fact that he himself is the man for whom they have inquired, the ape-man promises to present Tarzan to them at breakfast next morning. As the scene opens, we find Tarzan and Darno preparing to descend to the breakfast room. Hello, mon ami. I would not miss this morning for all the gold in Opal. Why not? Have you forgotten our breakfast engagement with Monsieur and Mademoiselle Gregory? Oh, that. That, to my lord, Greystoke, will be very amusing when they meet Tarzan. But you have been out this morning already while I slept? Yes, I've been to the hospital again. Lao Tusk has definitely disappeared. So, and what about the dead man we found in Tusk's bed? An oriental. No identification on him, and nobody knows him. Oh, very dear. Hmm. And what of the woman Magra and Tom? Both vanished. So, what do you think? I don't know. I would certainly like to understand the connection between Ben Gregory, Magra, and Tom. Do you suppose they could have been on friendly terms at one time? No doubt about that. At least as far as Magra is concerned. Tom spoke last night as though I, or rather Brian Gregory, had been in this city of Asher had seen a diamond which he called the father of diamonds and escaped. And did he mention the talking apes? Yes. He called our share the place of the talking apes. Tarzan, have you ever heard of such a tribe of apes in Africa? To me, they are all talking apes. The language of the apes of Kerchak is understood by Manu the monkey as well as by Bogani the gorilla. And that note, mon ami, sent you by Magra, simply a means of getting you up to that room, eh? I've been thinking about that. Why should she do that, then try to help me later? Moi, je ne sais pas. Woman, the eternal enigma, she is strangely contradictory at times. But if you are ready, we shall join Mademoiselle Gregory and her father. A uh, very charming young lady, Mademoiselle Gregory. Yes, I suppose she is. Ah, bien. Let us go, then. They are probably awaiting us. <laughs> do you think this man, Tarzan, will take charge of the Gregory safari? I've been thinking about that, too, Darno. Those people know nothing about the jungle. It would be murder to let them go alone, especially since Tennington and Hazel sent them to me. Yet I suppose they could get competent guides with your help. Who would desert them, probably, at the first opportunity or sign of trouble. Uh, we, there is always that possibility. Uh, ah, our friends are already at table. Good, well, morning. Good, morning, Good morning. Good morning, Lord Greystoke. Well, what's happened to our friend Tarzan, Lieutenant? Lord Greystoke promised to have you for breakfast. And Lord Greystoke, mademoiselle, has kept his word. He is here. Permettez-moi. Mademoiselle and Monsieur Gregory, to present my very good friend, Tarzan. Why, why, Lord Greystoke. What? You, Lord Greystoke? Tarzan? <laughs> so you are Tarzan himself, are you? No wonder Tennington and his wife appear to be amused. <laughs> well, well. So you are Tarzan. Yeah, sit down, gentlemen, sit down. Oh, how can you ever forgive me, Lord Greystoke? I, I thought Tarzan was a native. You don't need to apologize. It's no insult to be taken for a native of Africa. Because I am just that. And last night, 
Well, I couldn't spoil Pennington's fun. I enjoyed it myself. It was very amusing, mademoiselle. I almost gave it away last night when you mentioned Tarzan. 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 It sounds nice, as though it might have a meaning. What does it mean, Lord Greystoke? It means white skin, Miss Gregory. In the language of the great... of a certain tribe of jungle inhabitants. Tarzan. White skin. Is that what the natives call you? Yes, in certain parts of Africa. Oh, tell me. How did you get the name? It was given me by my... My foster mother. My name is John Clayton. Oh, that's interesting. Your foster mother was... A native of Africa, Miss Gregory. She was the only mother I ever knew. She gave her life for me. Oh, I... I'm sorry. Forgive me, I... Of course. Uh, but, Mademoiselle Gregory, you have reconsidered about going into the jungle with your father? No, not at all, Lieutenant. I'm going with Dad. Why, he couldn't get along without me. That question's definitely settled. Hello, that is that, Mademoiselle. I am going into the interior, Gregory. If you like, I'll take charge of your expedition. <laughs> As Tarzan? As Tarzan. That's fine. If you really mean that, you'd say true, I'd appreciate it. I'm new at all this, haven't the faintest idea of hmm. how or where to begin. How are we going to know you, though? As Lord Greystoke or Tarzan? In the jungle, Miss Gregg, I am known only as Tarzan. Then Tarzan it shall be. And somehow it seems more in keeping with the spirit of the jungle. Pardon, oh, Miss Gregory, uh, gentlemen. Wolf and Larson are in the lobby. Oh, yes. A couple of guides Mitchell hired to get our supplies and equipment. Whether we take them or not, it's up to you, Greystoke. Both experts, and they know the jungle. Send them in. Uh, right ho. Just a moment, Mitchell. Yes. Uh, what have you done about bearers? Oh, that's all arranged. Uh, they'll be waiting for you at Bonger, prepared for an immediate start. Now, if you gentlemen will excuse me, I, I have several things to buy, and I know you'll want to talk business alone. Better get one of the hotel boys to go with you, daughter. I don't like the idea of your traipsing around by yourself. If uh, Mademoiselle will permit me... Oh, but I mustn't impose, Lieutenant. No imposition, Mademoiselle. Pas de tout. I shall be shy. All right, come on, then. We'll see you later. Fine fellow, that Frenchman. He is more than that. On active duty here, is he? Yes, the African Coastal Service, usually. But right now he's waiting for a ship to take him back to France. Ah, good morning, Herr Gregory. I came to tell you that the equipment and supplies are ready for shipment. Uh, good morning, Wolf. Larson, good we're morning. all set then? Yeah. That's fine. This is Mr. Tarzan. He's taking charge of our expedition. He's right, me. He's been pleased to meet you. You men know the Belgian Congo above the junction of the Ubang and Congo rivers? Yeah, sure. I was up there three times on safari. Yeah, I know that country. Are you partners? Well, we've never traveled together, if that's what you mean. Well, as long as you've already been hired, it's settled. We leave for Bonga as soon as possible. Yeah, sure. Well, I am ready to go on an hour's notice. Meanwhile, in an obscure corner of a dingy coffee shop... Tom and Lal Tosk are digesting certain news which the former had just heard that morning. Uh, I believe Wolf will verify my guess. They are going to the Congo into Belgian territory. <laughs> it was difficult to buy, Wolf. And we follow... You and I, I, yes. Magra and Wolf will be with the Gregory expedition. Between them, they should get the map. You believe Magra will be able to join them? What excuse will she give? That is her affair. If she fails, there will still be Wolf. I've offered him enough money to ensure his loyalty, and he knows the country. Here he comes. Say nothing about last night. Well, Mr. Tom, it is agreed definitely that I go with the Gregory expedition. Ah, sit down. Where are they going? North of the Upangas Junction with the Congo. Belgian territory? Yeah, at least Tarzan asked me if I knew that country. And who is he? He is the man in charge of the Gregory outfit. He's a stranger to me. <laughs> he got the job I was figuring on. Why would Gregory, who knows that country so well, be someone else in charge of his safari? <laughs> if that old coot knows the Belgian Congo, I am a Chinaman. Old? You say Gregory is an old man? Uh, he's 60 if he's a day, and fresh from the States. This is his first trek into the blue. Uh, and there was no one else with Gregory, his son, perhaps, when you spoke to him, eh? Huh? His son? Why, that's what he's going into the jungle for, to look for trace of his lost son. The uh, young fellow disappeared a year ago up into that country. His lost son... <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> yeah, when are they leaving? I uh, will leave by tonight's river steamer for Bonga. Safari will stop from there. Uh, they seem to be in somewhat of a hurry to leave Luango. Very well. 
Wolf, there will be a woman on that steamer tonight from whom you will take your orders. She will make herself known to you through the word Akesh. She will lend you what help she can in locating and gaining possession of the map. <laughs> but how the devil am I going to get a map from a man who is not on the boat? Or with the outfit? Gregory's son, the man for whom they are supposedly searching, will be on that boat, Wolf. He will very probably remain out of sight until they leave the steamer for the jungle. He will have the map. Hmm, I see. Then the young fellow is not lost, hmm? What's the game, Tom? It is enough for you to know that by bringing me that map, you will receive for your work 1,000 pounds. Oh, that map must be pretty valuable uh, if you are willing to pay 1,000 pounds for it. What is it? Uh, treasure, maybe? Huh? Mm, you are laboring under a tempting delusion, Wolf. No, it is not treasure. We are all archaeologists seeking the forbidden city of our share. That map shows its location. I merely want the honor of being its discoverer, that is all. Well, I've never heard of any sit name of Asher. Oh, but one never knows what to expect in Africa. Uh, you know young Gregory? I do, I know him very well. Well, you might describe him. Uh, then I would know him uh, when I see him. Brian Gregory is tall, strong as a water buffalo, and dark. He can, when occasion demands, move with the speed and grace of a leopard. Mm. He has a broad white scar on his forehead. What? <laughs> that is Sean Gregory. <laughs> the choke is on you, Tom. Exactly you have described Tarzan. Tarzan? Listen, both of you. I see through their scheme. A moment ago, Wolf, you asked me what the game was. I shall tell you. Brian Gregory tries to conceal his true identity under the assumed name of Tarzan because he realizes that I know he has the map of our share and that he is outfitting to go there. And does he know that you want the map? Yes. Hmm. He also knows that once it is in my hands, his life is not worth that. You are sure he is Brian Gregory, the old man's son? You heard me say so, did you not? Yeah, I heard you say so. Well, Magra is a clever woman. She will get the map by strategy, if possible. If she fails, then you, Wolf. But until the map is in your hands, no bloodshed. Mark that. Yeah, I understand. But you, Tom, mark this. I do not mind putting someone out of the way for a price, but I must be sure it is the right man. You are taking orders from me, Wolf. Those orders will be obeyed to the letter. Or this is your...